Hello YouTube, hello my friends, to the first edition of this probably monthly news show. First, important to know, if not everything is interesting for you, there are time annotations in the description bar to jump to the different chapters. In this show I collect some interesting topics which you probably don't find in your usual news show. My monthly selection will be concentrated on funny, interesting, insolite and spectacular topics from the world around religion, humanism and atheism, and this which has not found the way to your usual mainstream news show. Today's topics are, first, do you remember the Chile miners a year ago? But how are they now, after God has saved them? Second, the Sons of Abraham together in a news show. Third, revolt against the Pope in the Catholic Church. Fourth, the former German defense and army minister, or where fraud can mean you. Fifth, a lifelong student with 90 semester of university studies. Uh, six, Cyprus, a potential future war in Europe. Seventh, a new funny archbishop. As eight, to close a comment about how to skepticism with a coast calculation. Chile, October 2010. Here, Mario Sepulveda rescued from the 70 days trap in the mine in Chile. The dynamic Super Mario has recycled himself and became a motivation coach. He had his happy end, but let's see the 32 other miners. For the majority of them, the nightmares goes on. Traumatized, most of them are still followed by a psychiatrist. For at least one, it's known that he resolved his problems with alcohol. Seven are still in sick leave, only four went back to work in the mines, and 20 are jobless. The public who took them as real heroes turned them the back now because miners are supposed to be rich. The miners claim $12 million from the mine's owner and $16 million from the state because of carelessness, not to call it corruption. For the moment they received only $15,000 each. Now the miners are expecting some money from Hollywood because the film industry is interested to exploit this misery. As we know, not the engineers, but God has saved these people after 70 days. So if you see the result today, maybe this prayer stopped too early. At the French Channel Direct 8, a new concept called the Sons of Abraham took place. This is a news show commented by the Catholic priest Abbé Alain de la Morande, the great rabbi Chaim Corsia, and the Islam scholar uh, Malek Shebel. During his visit in Poland, some cardinals and bishops refused to shake hands with Pope Benedict XVI. Not all, but Help me, we can count. See? Here he's coming. Ah, no, no, yes, no. Give me the hand, shake it, shake it. No, 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 I don't want, I don't want. Ah, oh, you, okay, yeah. Next one, next one. Uh, please, please, shake my hand, shake my hand. Hey, hey, why you don't shake my hand? Ah, finally, another one. Uh, uh, uh. Well, the cause of this refusal is a sign from the heaven. It has to do with the third prophecy of Fatima. During his travel to Spain 
a heavy wind blew away the sign of his omnipotence, namely his soggetto, his belt. This omen is interpreted as the fulfilling of the third Fatima prophecy and a defenestration as recorded in the book of Kings 2 in the Bible. Jezebel was defenestrated at Jezreel by her own servant at the urging of Jehu. Uh, 2 Kings 9.33 Don't try to understand, therefore you have to be Catholic. The former German army minister and general secretary of the Chancellor Angela Merkel's Christian Social Union Party, Baron Karl Theodor Maria Nikolaus Johann Jakob Philipp Franz Josef Sylvester Freiherr von und zu Gutenberg, has lost his doctor title because of plagiarism. He denied for month the fact that he simply copied a book to reach his doctorate. After a denial and probably useless sponsoring, the University of Bayreuth withdrew his diploma. In disgrace, Gutenberg left all of his offices and even his mandate in the German parliament. Today, unfortunately, the Bavarian justice can't reach von Gutenberg for legal legal investigations. His castle in Bavaria is now empty, officially. He has found immediately a new job and is now a member at the Think Tank USA, CSIS, Center for Strategic and International Studies. You know me as always the links are provided and also the link of one of my German subscriptions two videos about this case. Another German Baron, the 66-year-old Freiherr Meinhard von Seckendorf. This Baron has studied 90 semesters in 45 years at the Swiss University of Zürich. During his studies he lived almost every time in the best hotels and lived a voluptuous student life. After selling all his belongings, he had to stop now because a lack of money. His castle is sold and he just remained with the right to stay in three rooms until his death. His today's income are 350 euros from the state's welfare and his clothes and food are from charity organizations. Lately, a rich lady showed some interest in our Baron and who knows, maybe with her money, he can make the 100 semesters full. Cyprus, a member state of the European Union with a very interesting and turbulent history. It worth certainly need to take a look at the Wikipedia link I provided. Politically, Cyprus is split between a Greek and a Turkish part. Only the Greek part is recognized by the United Nations and the Turkish part is considered as occupied territory. There are negotiations to reunify Cyprus. The Greek South is an independent state, but the North from Ankara controlled Turkish territory. Around this beautiful island the world's biggest reserves in oil and gas are now found. This would never be a problem if a united Cyprus would exploit their national resources, but Ankara has now no further interest to attribute to this reunification. No, they sent their oil companies, protected with the big contingent of the Turkish navy, to exploit Cyprus natural resources. We certainly will hear more of this new conflict zone in the near future. I'm still not sure if our next topic is only funny 
or if it maybe awakes some horrible memories in some of my watches. A God's Marines, a Jesuit, becomes the new Archbishop of Luxembourg. It does not matter if you don't understand French or Luxembourgian or even Japanese, yes, because he was a missionary in Japan. Just listen to his voice and make your own opinion. Oui, j'accepte cette charge au service du peuple de Dieu et je m'engage à la remplir jusqu'à la mort avec la grâce de l'Esprit Saint. Mir muss se verteidigt als selber bekehren. Das geht bei mir un. Mir muss man als verteidigt selber abmachen für das Wort vom Herr Gott. Und dann können wir rausgehen. Da können wir Témoignage gehen für Jesus Christus an der Welt. Und nicht nur mit dem Schwätzen, mit dem Schlieven. Und wenn wir uns ansetzen für die Schwach, für die Krank, für die Leute, die lang sind, für die Leute, die alt sind, für die Leute, die leid tun, durch noch gesehen den dass wir Christen sind. Und das, mein Seigneur, an das Royal will ich versprechen, dass wir als Ansätze werden, heute zu Lützebusch, als Kirche, als Christen, für am Dienst zu stehen, von der Zivilgesellschaft, mit allen Kräften von der Nation zu summen. Und ich habe gesagt, dass ich mich nicht mehr so gut bin. Ich habe gesagt, ich habe gesagt, dass ich mich nicht mehr so gut bin. Ich habe Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed this first edition of Gox News. This little collection assembled in a new show cost me electricity, amortization of my material, nothing. This show was sponsored by nobody. It was simply my choice to invest around 30 hours of my time to produce this show with informations open to everybody. To cut short and not to make a long monologue, I will only guide you attention to my provided links. Your TV news show don't provide you sources, don't give you the chance, neither the motivation to search for further information. And this is the power they have to manipulate you. Fox News, how it is, it's not Fox News's fault. It's the fault of the laziness of the consumer who made this channel so influent. So also this news shows, don't take my word for it, check it yourself. Caressio, and thank you very much.